praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for our gathering at this moment. Thank you for all that you have done in the month of September, the month of our divine sustenance. Our Lord and our God, we pray that you bless us in this meeting. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you come and direct this meeting. I pray as many that, we, that will participate in this meeting and those that are far off. Father, I pray that you will reach them and meet them at the points of their knees. This crossover prayer meeting we bring blessings unto us, unto our families, and to the church of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Can we rise and bless the name of God Almighty? Let us appreciate him. Let's appreciate him for bringing us to the end of September 2023. God has been so good. God has been so merciful. Let's give him honor. Let's give him adoration. Let's worship him because he has done so much in our life. Let's thank him for the multitude of blessings he has bestowed upon us, upon our families, upon the church of God, upon the zone, upon the district, upon who say church, in the month of September 2023. I want us to thank him for the gift of life that we are gathering today to praise him and to pray. Is because of his mercy and his love for us as individuals, as families, as church. I want us to thank him for what he did for us in January, for what he did for us in February, March, April, and May, June and July, August and September, and for his promises over us in the most to come. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Can we sing some songs of praises to the Lord? What can we sing unto the Lord? All we have to say is thank you, Lord. What can we say unto the Lord? All we have to say is thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, O Lord? I will praise you, O Lord, and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, O Lord? O Lord, what shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, O Lord? I will praise you, O Lord, and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you? 
Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfies your mind with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? The Lord has accused righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He may know his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abandoned in mercy. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. From this passage of the Bible, we will discover what God has done for us for the past years and months. He says, we must not forget what God has done for us. He forgives our iniquities. He heals us of all our diseases and redeems us from destruction. You will remember how many times you applied the roads within Abuja and outside Abuja. How many times you've gone for that series and abroad, two planes, but it is this call that has kept us so far. The same road that some people pass through and they make disasters is the same road that you pass through during the course of the year. And the Lord has been faithful. Praise the Lord. He says, he crowned up with his loving kindness and tender mercies and satisfied our minds with good things. Day by day, God provides. Day by day, he provides. Day by day. Sometimes you don't know how it all called. But God has been good. God has been kind. He has a good righteousness and justice. He has been so merciful and gracious. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. In Lamentation chapter 3, verses 22. Lamentation chapter 3, verses 22. Said it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Because his compassions fail not. I pray that his compassion over us will never fail. In the name of Jesus. If you believe that, can you say amen? Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Can we praise the Lord? Bless the Lord, oh my soul, 
and everything within me bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul and everything within me bless his holy name. He has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great things. Bless his holy name. Can we thank the Lord for the salvation of our soul? Thank God for the salvation of your soul, for the salvation of the soul of your children and family member. Thank him for his protection. Thank him for his preservation. Thank him for his sustainability. During the course of the month, we there with divine sustainers. And I believe and I know God has been faithful in our lives, in our homes. It's God that has been sustaining us. God has been sustaining his church. God has been sustaining nation Nigeria. If not for God, if not for his mercy, if not for his loving kindness, what will we say today? I want you to thank God for his faithfulness. I want you to thank God for his loving kindness over you, over your family, over your people, over the church of God, over nation Nigeria. Thank you for saving us from the arrows of the enemies. So many at times we ply the roads, so many at times in our offices, but God has been protecting us from the arrows of the enemies. These arrows did not touch us. This arrow did not come near us. It's God that has been preventing them, that have been saving us from all of them because of his compassion, because of his love. Can we appreciate God? Can we appreciate God for being there for us? When everybody forsake you, the Lord stand by you. The Lord stand by you. Your director forsake you. Oh, people forsake you, your family. But God said, no, I won't. I won't because, because of my covenant. I want you to thank God for not forsaking you, for being there for you in the past years, even today, and for days and months and for years to come. I want you to appreciate this God. Thank you for daily provision. Thank you for healing your diseases. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him, I appreciate this God. He's good, he's good, he's good. He's good, he's good, he's good. The Lord is good, the Lord is good. The Lord is good, he's so good. The Lord is good, the Lord is good, the Lord is good. He's so 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 good, the Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. He's so good, the Lord is good. He's so good. Oluwa dara, Oluwa dara, Oluwa dara, O dara, Oluwa dara. O dara, O luwa dara, O dara. I have seen the Lord goodness, His mercy and compassion. I have seen the Lord goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. O oh Lord, you are so good. You are so good to us. O oh Lord, you are excellent. In our lives, every day, oh Lord, you are 
Be so good. Seems so good to us, oh Lord, you are excellent in the land. Magnify the Lord, oh, magnify the Lord, the Lord is able. Magnify the Lord, oh, magnify the Lord, the Lord is able. Magnify the Lord, oh, magnify the Lord. The Lord is able. Let us praise the Lord. Magnify his name. I want you to magnify his name. He's God. He's not a man that we tell lies. He's God. Almighty God. Almighty God. Almighty God. The creator of the heavens and the earth. The one that enables you to be here today. Almighty God, Almighty God, He rules on the affairs of men. That is the God I'm talking about. Thank Him for His sovereignty. He's all and in all. He's superior to other God. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Can you wave your hands and praise the Lord? Can you wave your hands and praise the Lord? Can you wave your hands and praise the Lord? He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. You are Lord, not worried of our praise. You are Lord, not worried. Of our praise, you alone not worry. Of our praise, you alone not worry. Of our praise, I want you to ask for mercy. I want you to ask for mercy. You got to ask for mercy. Ask for mercy. Mercy of God. Mercy of God. Ask for mercy for your son, for your wife, for your husband, for your children, for your grandchildren, for your siblings, for your family members, for the church of God. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Because he says, I've been merciful to those who have been merciful to. Can you pray for mercy? Ask for mercy. Ask for mercy. Also, ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. In any area we have sinned against God, we have come short of the glory of God. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness for yourself, for your family, for your children, for the church. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to you to pray. Ask for cleansing by the blood of Jesus to cleanse us, to cleanse you from every stain in the name of Jesus. Ask for the blood of Jesus. Ask for the blood of Jesus to do the cleansing. To do the cleansing. Thank him for the opportunity to stand before him at this hour. At this hour. Thank him for that opportunity. Tell God to visit you this morning. Tell God to visit you. To visit you. To visit you. In a unique way. In a unique way. In a unique way. Such a visit that we result in testimony. Tell God, visit me, O oh Lord. Visit me, O oh Lord. Visit my church. Visit my family. Visit my children. Visit my people. In the name of Jesus. Ask for God to visit you. Ask for God to visit you. Ask for God to visit you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have worshiped. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? The King of kings, Lord of lords, put your hands together anywhere you are. For Jesus, praise the Lord. You are welcome to this prayer meeting. 
crossover to the month of October. You are welcome, and eventually that is the last quarter of the year 2023. God is said to do unique things in our lives. God is said to do unique things in our church. God is said to do unique things in our family as we journey through that quarter. And by the end of that quarter, we shall have testimony. If you believe, say amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord will visit us in this meeting this morning. In the name of Jesus. So this morning, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, we shall be praying on divine visitation. Divine visitation. In other words, that in the last quarter of this year, 2023, God will visit us in a unique way. We visit us now, tonight. We visit us in October. We visit us in November. We visit us in December. And at the end of December, we will have reasons to praise the Lord. Amen. Now, there are different kinds of visitation. Different kinds of visitation. Um, in the end, the first one is visitation that we have negative impact on somebody. It is my prayer that that such visitation will not be heard of in our church, in our homes, in the name of Jesus Christ. It's like when an arm robber visits somebody, of course you all know what may result. It's usually not palatable. Such will not occur to us in the last quarter of this year and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ. The second type of visitation and when people visit you and your life and destiny changes, praise the Lord. Your life and destiny change. And I pray for each and every one of us, you that is hearing me, that in the last quarter of this year, you will receive visitation that will change your entire life. That will change your story. That will bring blessings upon you, upon your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can we open our Bible very quickly? To Genesis chapter 12. 1 to 3. Genesis chapter 12. 1 to 3. Genesis 12, 1 to 3. Now the Lord has said to Abraham, get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you I will cause him who causes you. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Shall be blessed. Can you say amen to that? If you believe, can you say amen to that? If that is your portion, can you say amen to that? God visited Abraham. At the time of that visit, remember, you will see that the Bible said, Now the Lord had said to Abraham, which means the Lord visited him before when he was in Mesopotamia. And of course, Stephen made us to understand in our 
Acts chapter 7 2 to 4. That God visited him that time and asked him to leave his kingdom and go to a land that he will show him. But that time he did not adhere to the word of God. But this time around, after the death of his father, he was in Aram. And God visited him again that Abraham, leave your country, leave where you are. Where you are will not be beneficial. There is nothing good that will come out of that place. Leave that place. To a land, I will show you. And that command was with a promise. Praise the Lord. Said, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. Uh, your, I will make your name great. You shall be a blessing. Uh, and also that those who bless you will be blessed. Those that causes you will be called. And, and in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Praise the Lord. You know the same command was also given in Genesis 26 2 was given to Isaac. Isaac wanted to run away because of famine. See their womb. But God told him, Isaac, do not go to anywhere. Stay in the land that I'm going to show you and you will become great. I pray to somebody this morning that as you listen, as you pray, as you pray, as you pray, God himself will visit you. We change you. We change your family. We change your entire life. And you will never be the same again. Your story will change in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will receive instruction that will change your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, when God leaves his majestic throne, and visit a man, the equation changes. It's bound to change. When God leaves his throne and decides to visit somebody, the person will never be the same again for good. In the name of Jesus. What are those things that will happen? Number one is there will be liberation. The person will, the, the person will be free from oppression. From bondage, I pray for somebody this morning that, hey, whatever position you have been before, in bondage, the Lord will liberate you this morning. We liberate your home from oppressions, from the strong man that have held you bound in the name of Jesus. The second thing that we have happened is restoration. In other words, the Lord will restore you. Everything that you have lost, the Lord will restore. The Lord will restore. And I pray for somebody this morning that the Lord will restore. Everything you have lost in the years past, in the months past, in your office, in your family home, in the name of Jesus. The third thing that will happen is that there will be acceleration. Acceleration. In other words, there will be speed of accomplishment. Hey, there will be speed of accomplishment. I pray for somebody that all those things that you have been struggling to do, that you have found difficult to do, that Lord Almighty will send her pass. There will be speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus. Number four is elevation. You are lifted. You are lifted. When God visits you, expect an elevation and upliftment. As many as of you that are looking for upliftment in, in, in your offices, the Lord will uplift you. The Lord will uplift your businesses. The Lord will uplift your children. Oh, you will never be the same again. You will move to a higher level in the name of Jesus. Not by your power. Not by your mind, 
but by the grace of God. And lastly, there will be celebration. People will gather to celebrate with you. Two things trigger divine visitation. Number one is the compassion of God, the mercy of God. I pray for you that if listening to me this morning, you will receive the mercy of God. You will receive the mercy of God. Your children will receive the mercy of God. Your child will receive the mercy of God in the name of Jesus. And number two is prayers. When you cry to the Lord, you carry your burdens to the Lord. You carry your request to the Lord. When you carry it to the Lord faithfully with open heart, the Lord will surely have compassion. I pray this morning that as you have come to pray, anywhere you as you are praying, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will have compassion over you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Can we rise as we are praying? Can we rise? Can we rise anywhere you are? I want you to rise. I want you to rise. He was only one. But one day, I am the one. By me to check, can we pray? Can we sing together? He was only one. But one day, I am the one. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord will do a new thing in our life today that will be turned around in the name of Jesus. That will be turned around for God in the name of Jesus. In chapter 12 of Genesis, where we just read, we read that God visited Ab Abraham. You know, at the time of that visitation, Abraham was nobody. Abraham was nobody. Abraham was just finding his feet. He did not even know what to do. He was with his, with his wife. He was with Lord. His father was no more. He was just roaming about. Had no future. Had nothing to do. Praise he that all. But the Bible says, in verse 1, in verse 1, he says, Lord said to Abraham, chapter 12, 1, Lord said to Abraham, praise ye the Lord, praise ye the Lord. I don't know where you are, I don't know the position you are, but what I know that is where you are now is, is not where God wants you to be. There are still so many things ahead of you. God wants to, to move you further. God wants to move you higher. God wants you to still accomplish so many things for him. You have not got it to your destination yet. Just like Abraham in 12 1. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Lord, speak to me. Speak to my life. Speak to me. Visit me, O oh Lord. Visit me, O oh Lord. Visit me, O oh Lord. I want you to pray. Visit me, O oh Lord. Tell God to visit you. To visit you. And speak to you. And speak to your life. And speak to your consciousness. Tell God to visit your home. Tell God to visit your children. Tell God to visit you. Tell God to visit you. Visit me, Lord, this morning. Tell God to visit you. To visit you. To visit you. I want you to pray. In the midst of multitude, select me for divine encounter. In the midst of multitude, Lord, select me for divine encounter. Can you pray the same prayer for yourself? Can you pray it for your children? Can you pray it for your wife? Can you pray it for your husband? Can you pray it for your people? Can you pray it for the church in the name of Jesus? In the midst of multitude, thousands of men, Father, in the name of Jesus, visit me for divine encounter. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? 
Can you pray? Visit me for divine account of law. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. Lord, visit me. Change my story for good. Change my story. Change my story. I don't know what you are passing through, but tell God, visit me. Change my story. Change my family story. Change my children's story. Change our story. Change our story. In our family. Change our story. Can you tell God, change the story of my church. Change the story of our church. Change the story of our church. In the name of Jesus. Father, change our story. Those of you that have business, can you pray this morning? Go. Change. Change. Change our story in the name of Jesus. In the name of I want you to pray. Lord, take away every power of delay. Every power of delay in the name of Jesus. Take away every power of delay. Abraham was delayed. They told him Mesopotamia to leave. He refused again for years. But now God told him again, Abraham, leave your kingdom. Whatever is causing delay, anywhere we are, that has not allowed to prosper, that has not asked us to, to move forward, I want you to pray. Lord God, Lord God, take away the power of delay. Take away every power of delay. Take away every power of delay. Power that does not allow me to move forward, to move forward, to make progress. Father, take that power away. Take it away from the love of my wife. Take it away from the love of my children, of my husband, in the name of Jesus. Take it away from my living. Power, power of delay. Lord, take it away in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. Don't confess it to yourself. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. Have we made progress? Have we moved forward? Have we moved forward? Have we break forward? Have we break forward? Have we break forward? Have we break forward? My family will break forward. My child will break forward. In the name of Jesus. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray, Father, speak life, speak change, speak growth, speak freedom to my life, to my family. Father, speak life, speak change, speak growth, speak freedom to my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray and pray it aggressively for yourself, for your family, for the church of God. Father, speak life, speak change, speak growth, speak freedom to my life, to this one, to my family, in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. The second thing God did for Abraham, after speaking to his life, the second one is that God guided him. God guided him. I pray for you in this last quarter of the year that the Lord will guide you. That the Lord will guide your people in the name of Jesus. Hear this Genesis 12 1. Go from your country and kingdom and your father's house to the land that I will show you. To the land I will show you. Go. From your country and kingdom, from your father's house to the land that I will show you. You know the same assistant was also rendered to Isaac in Genesis 26 2. Then the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt, live in the land of which I shall tell you. That is what we call divine guidance, divine instruction, divine guidance and divine instruction. It will not be scarce in our midst. In the name of Jesus. Somebody will receive divine instruction that will lead him to his destination. This year in the name of Jesus. We will receive divine guidance. In the name of Jesus. You know, when God guides you, it also means you will enjoy his presence. 
we will follow you. You can't miss it. You can't make an error because he's there to give you a cover. Praise the Lord. What you are supposed to do for three years, God can make you to do it with your one That is what we call divine acceleration. Praise the Lord. I pray for you that all those things that you have been prayed for, struggling for, that Lord, we do this last quarter, we deliver them to you in the name of Jesus. That Lord, we lead you to somebody. That Lord, we lead you to a location. We will live where you are. We will live those in time you down. We will move to a divine location. We will live, move to. That Lord, we connect you with somebody. And this last quarter of the year, that Lord, we deliver to you the key to your success. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Father, I receive the power and grace to move away from wherever and whoever I need to leave or go from. Some of us need to leave some places. We need to be repositioned. We need to leave some association. We need, need to leave some people before we can succeed. Praise the Lord. So we are going to pray. Father, I receive power. I receive grace to move away from whoever, from wherever I need to leave or go. In the name of Jesus, can you pray for yourself? Can you pray for your children? Father, uh, give me power, give me grace to move away, away from wherever, from whosoever. In the name of Jesus, to move away from wherever, from whosoever. In the name, uh, name of Jesus, where I need to leave or go from. In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. I receive power and to move to wherever, whoever I need to move to. To move to that new location, to move now that that person that, oh, that, 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 that will become a blessing to me. Father, grant me the grace, grant me the power to move, to move to the new location, to the new abode, to the new person, to the new friend that will help me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Empower me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of I want us to pray. Lord, disconnect me from anyone who is slow me, slowing me down. Anyone, anyone, anyone that is slowing me down. Father, disconnect me. Disconnect my children. Disconnect my wife. Disconnect the show. Disconnect our people from anyone, from any group that is slowing us down. That is slowing us down. In the name of Jesus. In other words, disconnect us, O oh Lord, from that strong man. From that strong man. From that strong man that is slowing us down. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Disconnect us, O oh Lord. Disconnect us, O oh Lord. Disconnect us, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. He took God to disconnect Jacob from his in law. His in law was slowing down, giving him conditions of a condition. Better clear. God intervened and he was disconnected from his in law. Before you could move forward, I want us to pray again. I want us to pray again. Who is that person that is slowing you down? Who is that person that is pinning you down? Who is that person that is saying that you will not move forward? Who is that person that is saying, over my dead body? I want us to pray. God, disconnect us from those people that have, that are slowing us down, from achieving. From making progress, from from getting to our destiny, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray for ch your children. I want you to pray for your people, in the name of Jesus. Disconnect us, O oh Lord. 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 Disconnect us, O oh Lord, from our enemy, from our enemy, from our enemy, from our enemy, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. This prayer is so important. 
because there was a lady after getting married for about 10 years there was no ear. She did everything, she prayed, she went everywhere, but no way. But by the word of revelation, in, you know, in the revival meeting, God revealed that it's your mother that is behind the road. Praise the Lord. God gave her Holy Ghost business and wisdom. She went to the mother, discussed with her that my mom, I'm not, I, even by the time as I get mad, I will still continue to take care of you. It's not that I'm abandoning you. Please pray for me so that I can have my own child. You know, before she went there, there was prayer. There was prayer. People pray with her and encourage her to go. And the mama cried and cried and cried. And at the end, she said, I release you. Praise the Lord. Somebody that has been tied down by the enemy, either by your mother or father, from your father's house, from your mother's house, or from anywhere, to night in the name of Jesus, that will be released. That will be released. That will be released. We will make progress. We will make progress. That Lord will wipe away your tears. That Lord will wipe away your cries. Because your cries has gone to the Lord Almighty. God has heard you. That will be released. That will be released this morning. Released from bondage. Released from that strong man. Release from those enemies of yours in the name of Jesus. Watch your in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. Father, that land of peace, that place of rest, that position of joy, that, that, that place you prepare for me, take me there. Take me there. Can you hear this? God, uh, that land of peace, that place of rest, that position of joy, that place you prepare for me, take me there, take me there, take me there, take me there. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, take me to that land of peace, take me to that land of peace, take me to that place of rest, take me to that position of joy that you place for me in the name of Jesus. You sit in your office, you sit in the business circle, you sit in the family, you sit in the church, anywhere. That position, position of joy that the Lord has prepared for you. The Lord will take you there. The Lord will take you there. This is him. This is him. This is him. This is him. This is, him. This is, him. This is him. the place of rest. The Lord will take you there in the name of Jesus. That land of peace, the Lord will lead you there successfully. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. What is the third thing that God did for Joseph? God gave him uncommon help. Uncommon help. Uncommon help. God will help somebody here this morning. In the name of Jesus. Genesis 12 to say, and I will make you a great nation. A great nation. Somebody that had nothing before. A poor man, Abraham. A man that was just parabolating about with his kingdom. All of them were just managing to take care of, them, of themselves. And the Lord suddenly appeared to him. I said, I'm going to make you a great nation. <laughs> I'm going to make you a great nation. Somebody that had no true, like Jonathan, God said, I'm going to make you a great nation. Ha! How would that be? How would that sound? How would one, anybody believe that? That is God. It's not a man. We are talking of the creator of the heavens and the earth. We are talking of the person that owns the heaven and the earth. And everything within it. 
and he can turn anything the way he wants. He can take a low person and take him high, and he can bring somebody from the top and bring him low. He says, I'm going to make you a great nation. I pray for somebody this morning. The Lord will make you a great nation. The Lord will make you to be great and great, abundantly great, until you become great. The same thing said to Isaac, I'm going to make you great. Abundantly great. Only when you are clear to my word. I pray for somebody. As we receive instruction in the last quarter of this year, as we hack into those instructions, the Lord will lift us, lift us up in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God made Joseph great. God made Esther great. God made so great from nowhere. He lifted up the up. I pray for you. You are the you are the next one that the Lord will make great. And if you believe that, can you shout hallelujah? Can you shout amen? Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Can we take this song? My helper, oh. my helper, my helper, oh. my helper. There is something that makes me call me to your presence. My helper, there is something that makes me call me to your presence, my helper. I want us to pray. Father, make me, make my family and this show to be great. Make me to be great. Make me to be great. Make me to be great. If you love yourself, can you pray? God, make me to be great. I don't want to be small. I don't want to be small again. I don't want to be small again. I'm tired of where I am. I want to move forward. I want to move higher. I want to spread to the right to the left. I want to break forth. God, make me to be great. Make my children to be great. Make my wife to be great. Make my husband to be great. Make my child to be great. Make my people to be great. No, no, we don't want that to be a spectator. We want to be active participant in the name of Jesus. You say our children will be, will be the head and not the tail. No, they cannot be small again. Father, make them to be great. Make them to be head and not tail in the name of Jesus. Father, make me to be great. Make my family to be great in the name of Jesus. Make my family to become noble family. Noble family. Noble family. Noble family. In righteousness, in, 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 in physically and spiritually, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Make our church to be great. Make our son to be great. Make our district to be great. Make our people to be great. Let us be noted, oh God, in this city, in the community. Let us be noted, oh Lord God, for noble work. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are going to pray again. Lord, you made Abraham, you made Joseph, you made Esther, you made Daniel to be great. Make me to be great. Make me to be great. Mention your name to the Lord. Mention your name to the Lord. Mention your family to the Lord. God that made Joseph to be great. God that made Daniel to be great. God that made Esther to be great. We make you great. We make me great. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He will take me. He will take us from where we are now. So we are supposed to be in the name of Jesus. We will take us to the top. We will take us to the top. We will take us to the top. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You know why this prayer is important? By the time the Lord expands you, when you have a breakthrough, when the Lord lifts you up, when the Lord gives you a positive responsibility, when your family becomes somebody, it will now become 
a blessing to your neighbors, a blessing to the community, a blessing to the church of God, you'll be able to contribute meaningfully to the expansion of the kingdom. To the expansion of the kingdom. So this morning, by the name of God, the Lord will make our people great. The Lord will make our people great. Those that are going for promotion exam, the Lord will lift you up. The Lord will lift you up. Those of you that are doing contract, the Lord will give you an over, you know, above that contract. The Lord will make way for you. The Lord will make way for you. We give you bumper harvest in the last quarter of this year. And those in businesses, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, we expand your business. You will become a blessing to the people of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And those that are looking for a job, God will give you a lucrative job. A lucrative job. A good one. A good God will open doors. In the name of Jesus, I want us to pray. Father, Father, wherever my effort is failing, I'm grossly inadequate. Let that be a turnaround. Let that be a turnaround. Where my effort is failing and grossly inadequate, oh God, let that be a turnaround. Let that be a turnaround. Where my effort is not enough, where it is failing, in the name of Jesus, let there be a turn around. Let there be a turn around. Let there be a turn around. Threaten me, O Lord. Threaten me, O Lord. Threaten me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. Make me a sample of greatness. Make me a sample of greatness. In the name of Jesus. God made Abraham a sample of greatness. He became great. He became great. As he became great. Lord, make me an example. Make me an example. Make me an example of another Joseph. Pray for yourself. Pray for your children. Hey, pray for your children. Pray for your children. This is a time of the generation. We see the youth. We see them making waves in the name of Jesus. Our children, this church, will be among our God that the Lord will lift up in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for grace and power. Strength for them. Let's pray that the Lord will help them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray, Father, I'm ready, I'm willing, make me great, I'm ready, I'm willing, make me great, I'm ready, I'm ready, my family is ready, the church is ready, oh Lord, make us great, make us great, make us great, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to know that greatness is attached with responsibility. God is ready to make you great. God is ready to make your family great. Just as he made Abraham to become great. But responsibility is attached. I want you to pray if you are ready. If you are ready. If you are ready. God is also ready to partner with you. Because he's a covenant keeper. He's looking for people to partner with. That will also boost the expansion of the kingdom. I want you to pray, God, I'm ready. I'm ready to take up that responsibility, to take up that challenge, to become a contributor, even to the expansion of the kingdom. My family is ready. Our church is ready. Our people, we are ready to contribute to the expansion of the kingdom in the name of Jesus. The fourth thing the Lord did was legacy. Legacy. Abraham left a legacy. Genesis 12, 2. And I will bless and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. So that you will be a blessing. So that you will leave a legacy. Today we say Abraham blesses a man. Abraham blesses a man. I'm blessing the morning. I'm blessing. The, I'm blessed every time. Abraham blesses a man. He now have descendants, this uncountable descendants. 
today that we cannot do without referring to his name. Praise the Lord. Today, Isaac became so We can't do without referring to Isaac. God of Abraham. God of Isaac. God of Jacob. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Father, make my blessings permanent. It's not just a blessing that only you will enjoy and your children will be cut off. No! That is not blessing. It's not only a blessing that you alone will enjoy, enjoy with your children and the child will be cut off. No! That is not a blessing. We are talking of blessings, legacy, that will be permanent. From generation to generation. That they will enjoy. That people of God will enjoy. I want you to pray, God. Bless my, make my blessings to become permanent. Bless me. Bless my family. Make that blessing to be permanent. Bless our church. Make that blessing to be permanent. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray, God. Let me leave a permanent legacy. In the name of Jesus. Permanent one. Permanent one. Permanent one. For the kingdom of God, for my family, for my children, permanent legacy in the name of Jesus. Permanent blessing, permanent blessing, that continuous blessing forever and ever that people can refer to, that people can refer to, that people can recognize in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. God made my blessing irreversible. Irreversible. Make my blessing irreversible. The one that I will pass from generation to generation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You see that the blessings of Abraham was passed to Isaac, to Jacob, and so on, even up to today, to us. Irreversible. God has said it, and God has done it, and become permanent. Because he's a covenant God, he will not reverse it. Praise the Lord. He's God of ye and amen. I want you to pray for yourself. I want you to pray for your family, for the church. God bless me with irreversible blessing. God bless me with irreversible blessing. Bless the church with irreversible blessing. Bless my children with irreversible blessings. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. Father, you bless Abraham. You bless Jacob. You bless Joseph. That they are remembered. Bless me, O Lord. Let my blessings be remembered. Let my blessings be remembered. By generation to generation. Generation to generation. All those that we hear. By your blessing. Or upon my life, or upon my family, in the name of Jesus, they will continue to praise you. They will continue to praise you. Let my blessings be remembered in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 The fifth one is that just. The fifth one is that Abraham blessings became like generator blessing. You know, in generator, you can connect it. Eh? You can connect and connect a wire from generator to another thing. Praise the Lord. In other words, people can connect with you. When God bless you, People to the left to the right. Even some people you have never known. Ah, they start tapping. Once they tap into, 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 into the richness of God in your life, they themselves will become what a blessing. And so it will be spreading. It will be spreading. You know that word, your blessing will be will, will spread to the right and to the left, to everywhere that you go. People around you and far away that hear you. Also, we benefit from that blessing. You know there are so many people like that? Praise the Lord. The Lord can make you to write only one book. And that book that you write, if the hand of God is there, can liberate 
millions of people all over the world. That's a book. That's a book. That's a book. It can be a story of your life. People will read it, they cling to it. And because the hand of God is in me, they, they, all those that read the book and all those people that do likewise, they become liberated. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So you become a distributor of God's blessings over your life. A distributor. And that is exactly what Abraham became. Distributor. And that today we are saying Abraham blessings. I am. I want us to pray. Father, bless me so that I become a blessing. Father, bless me so that I become a blessing. Abraham was blessed. He became a blessing. Father, bless me. Let me become a blessing. Let my family become a blessing. Let the church of God become a blessing. In the name of Jesus, Father, bless us. Let's become a blessing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, bless me to become a blessing for my family and to the church of God, to the kingdom, to the kingdom, to the expansion of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, bless me, bless me, bless me. Father, bless our children so that they become blessing to their parents, so that they become blessing to their siblings, so that they become blessings to the church. Bless our children, both home and abroad, in the name of Jesus, so that they become blessing to their parents, to the church of God, to their family, to the society, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Father, make my blessing a, genera a generational blessing. It won't stop with me. Pray for yourself. God, make my blessing a generational one. A generational one. A generational one. It will stop with me. It will stop with my children. It will stop with my grandchildren. It will be a generational one. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. This is one. God promises him of protection. Perfect protection. In Genesis 12, 3, he says, I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you, I will cause. I will cause. Praise the Lord. It's not only that God promised Abraham blessings. He also promised him of his protection anywhere that he moved to. I want us to pray. It's not only that God is prepared to bless us, bless our children, bless our people, but God also say, I'm, he's going to protect us. That those that bless us, he will bless. That those that cause us, he will cause. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Let's thank God for that promises. Let's thank God for that promises. Let's thank God for that promises. Promises of safety, of protection, of protection. When we travel, when we are at home, when we are in the market, when our children are in the school, anywhere we are, let's thank God for that promises of safety. When we are in the air, when we are in the sea, let's thank God, let's thank God. Let's thank God. Let's thank God. Let's thank God. Let's thank God for the protection of God over us. Over us. What he says is that he will make our forehead to be stronger than those of our enemies. That we are covered by the blood of Jesus. We are covered. 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 From every attack of the enemy, we are covered. We are covered. Because God is with us. God is with us. Who can be against us? I want us to pray. Father, fight my life battles. Fight my life battles. Fight my life battles. Father, fight my life battles. Every battle. Every butterfly, Father, fight for us. Defend us. Protect us. Protect us. Protect us. 
from this chaotic world, from this chaotic world, we shall not be consumed. No, 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 no. Our people will not be consumed. Father, protect us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. The last one is Genesis 12, 3. God says, and in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. God is saying, Abraham, I'm going to make you to become relevant. To become relevant. To become relevant. Praise you, the Lord. That if we mention your name before me, I will honor it. Praise the Lord. That every child of God, every believer, born against the children of God that mentioned the name of Abraham, that, hey, I will defend such a person. I make you relevant. I make you relevant. I make you relevant. I make you relevant. I want you to pray. I want you to pray that God that God make me to become relevant. Make me to become relevant. In this society, in the kingdom, make me to be relevant. Make me to be relevant. In my father's house, in my mother's house, in the society, in the office, make me to be relevant. Relevant for you. Relevant, 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 relevant. Not a spectator, hey, but active participant. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in this disp dispensation, in this new God, I want you to pray that God will make you to be relevant. God will make you to be relevant. God will make you to be relevant. Hey, children and youth are being appointed here and there. Our children will be there. They will be there. They will be there. They will be noticed. Our people will be noticed. Our men will be noticed. Our women will be noticed. Our church members will be noticed. Our children will be noticed. We shall be noticed. We become relevant. We become relevant. Not irrelevant. In the name of Jesus. Not the power, but by your grace, by your mercy. No, our children and ourselves will be relevant. We become blessings for others. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray, God, this blessing will not end with me. It will not end with me. It will not end with me. It will not end with my children. Make my lineage a blessing. My lineage a blessing. Make us a blessing. Make us a blessing. Make on your lineage. Make on your lineage. Tell God to make you a blessing. To make that lineage a blessing. To make it a fountain of life. Fountain of life. Fountain of blessing. Your lineage to make it fountain of blessing. As he made that of Abraham a fountain of blessing. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to just pray one prayer for Nigeria as we celebrate our 63rd independence, which is October 1, 63rd of independence. Psalm 11, verse 3 says, If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Psalm 11, 3, If the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? What can the righteous do? Right, I've been hearing different type or kinds of story about Nigeria, analysis about Nigeria, about our foreign exchange, about our education sector, about our health sector, about our social sector, our Greek sector, every sector, um, electricity, power, about oil sector, and we there is nothing to write to me about. We must have been hearing 
those things happen as you been. And in all MDs, the foundation is chicken. Things have gone so bad that we believe God. We believe God that Nigeria is for Jesus. Nigeria is for Jesus. There will be change. There will be revival. There will be overturning in the name of Jesus. Our economy will be overturned. Our education system will be overturned. Our agri system will be overturned. Our power sector will be overturned. Our Naira exchange rate will be overturned. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will do the miracle, even at a time like this. I want us to pray for Nigeria. I want us to pray for Nigeria. Father, repair the foundation of Nigeria that is affecting our destiny. Oh, Lord, we ask, repair our foundation. Can you go ahead and pray? Father, repair the foundation of Nigeria that is affecting everything about Nigeria, affecting our destiny. Oh, God, repair the foundation of Nigeria. Repair it, repair it, repair it, repair it. Father, it's what we cannot do ourselves. We need your law. We need your law. We need your law. Intervene. Intervene. In the affairs of Nigeria. In the affairs of Nigeria. Repair the foundation of Nigeria. Repair it, O law. Repair it, O law. Repair it, O law. Repair it, O law. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And finally, Lord. We pray, take your place in Nigeria. Let your light shine in our land and let every darkness disappear, disappear, disappear. That so some individual, some individual that think they are so powerful that think they will not die again. That is holding Nigeria into ransom. Some principalities and powers. I want us to pray. Father, take your plea. Take your plea. Offer them, O Lord. Offer them, O Lord. Offer them, O Lord. Let light overshadow darkness in the name of Jesus. Let darkness disappear. Let darkness disappear. Let darkness disappear. Father, take power away from those that think they are powerful. Take power away from them. Take power away from them. Pull them down. Pull them down. They saw the righteous one in places of responsibility that will move Nigeria forward, that will move your kingdom forward. People that will work with you, that will parley with you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Can you just bless the name of the Lord? There's anything, any area you still want to pray on? Can you go on your knees and pray? And pray, thanking God. As we move to the last cut of this year, we are moving with expectation that the Lord has done it, that we are moving forward, that we are break forth, that we shall be at the top in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. And amen.